Hi, Fred. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to share your success story with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, Fred, tell us a few words about yourself. What do you do? Uh, where you live? Just, just uh, say a few words about who you are. Okay. So, my name is Fred. I moved to the UK about three years ago from France. And right now, I'm located west of London. And um, I'm in sales, in medical devices, sales, medical uh, devices, sales, to be precise. Yes. Wonderful. So, Fred, uh, tell us a little bit about what was your life like and what were your results like before you started thinking into results? Well, I had a recurring pattern of events happening to me. I was going from jobs to jobs, but I would jump from jo uh, job to job three, uh, three years after three years. Uh, I wouldn't settle. And when I contacted you, I just unexpectedly lost my job and it pretty much hit me like a train. I really did not understand what was happening to me. Um, and I lost my confidence, uh, my self-esteem. So I was not in a really good position. So that, that's pretty much why I, I reached out to you at the time. In between jobs. And, and you also were in a very senior uh, sales in employment before that, right? Yes, pretty much. I was actually traveling the globe and selling um, medical equipment, um, the US, Israel, just about anywhere. Mm. Very senior, yes. Okay. Now, your life is completely different right now, as we know. Uh, so. Yes. <laughs> Tell us just uh, some of the biggest uh, outcomes and results that you've, uh, that you've created after doing the mentorship process. What's changed? What does your life look like now? Well, everything is different. Uh, there are many, many uh, things that happened to me. Uh, well, first and foremost, I found a job soon after I joined the program, about, about two months. And as uh, most people know, it's not easy to find a, a new job. Uh, especially when you have lost a job and you are between jobs. So I managed to find the job that I wanted mm. with the company that I wanted. When I contacted them, there wasn't any job available and I managed to get paid 30% more than my previous job. That's so good. So that's very, very, very unusual. That never happened to me before. Um, the second biggest achievement, I would say, it's mindset. Mm. The way I see things the way I can project myself in the future is completely different. Before I went to do things, but I, was always, I would always tell to myself, uh, well, you don't have the time, you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the money. There was always a reason not to do things. That, that, that's finished. Uh, now I set myself goals, worthy goals, and, just, and I just go for it. And for as a matter of fact, I had something in my mind before I, went, I wanted to start my business. I just did it. I created a real estate investment um, just not so long ago. I'm in the middle of it right now. So that I'm is very cool. cool. And uh, tell me, this is so good, uh, Fred. And I suppose uh, one of the things that comes to my mind when, where you're, when you're sharing, you made a decision to do the program even though you were between jobs and literally right after that your life changed, right? Correct. It's so crazy, that's right. but, but that's pretty much the power of the decision making, right? Regardless what your circumstances are, you made a decision and look what's happened. Um, what's changed for you internally about you? Like, how do you feel about yourself different than when you felt before the, the program? Well, I had a tendency to overanalyze. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's called analysis paralysis. So yes. what should I do? Should I do this? Should I do Maybe not. Did you do that? that, that. No, I want to do something. I make a decision and and I go for it. Rather than, well, what about if this happens, if it doesn't happen, I just, I just go for it, I, I, I gun, I just go for it. That's so brilliant, I love it. So, um, so Fred, what would you say to people watching uh, this success story and thinking, should they sit down with me? Maybe they want to make a change just like you did in your life and they are wondering, should I talk to her, should I not talk to her? And the paralysis analysis going on, what would you say yeah. to them? Well, I say, well, it doesn't cost anything to talk to you to start with. And actually, you were recommended to me by, by, by someone. And uh, yeah, just, just do it and, and follow your gut feeling. That, that, that would be my, my best advice. And that's what I did. And I'm very happy I did it. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Fred. That's really great. You're welcome.